Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is now finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update in the release preview channel. And our next build will be 26,100.3902 or somewhere in that vicinity. And the update will be KB5055627. And the update was rolled out late yesterday in my region to the release preview channel. So I would suggest either Tuesday the 22nd or Tuesday the 29th, that update will roll out to the general public. And when that does, obviously, I will um, keep you guys in the loop. Now, there's quite a lot going on with this optional update. And optional updates are known to push out a lot of fixes and new tweaks and adjustments. And we have 14 new features that are rolling out with this next update, and most of which are for Copilot Plus PCs, because that seems to be where Microsoft's focus is now um, on Copilot Plus PCs, which obviously, to some extent or the other, is causing a bit of debate. Now, all these new features and fixes I'm going to mention now, according to Microsoft, are rolling out gradually. So when the update becomes available, you may see them or you may not. Now, the first new feature, believe it or not, is for Windows Recall, which seems to be coming back into the OS, where Microsoft pulled this due to a lot of negative feedback and has done quite a bit of work. And it seems like they're going to start pushing this out slowly now to the stable version. But this obviously is only for Copilot Plus PCs. Now, Recall, they say, saves you time by offering an entirely new way to search for things you've seen or done on your PC securely. With the AI capabilities of Copilot Plus PCs, it's now possible to quickly find and get back to any app, website, image, or document just by describing its content. Now, they say to use Recall, you need to opt in to saving snapshots, which are images of your activity, and enroll with Windows Hello to confirm your presence so only you can access your snapshots. So they've done a little bit of work regarding those snapshots and privacy and obviously just tightening that security and privacy down in regards to users who were complaining about that previously. And they say you, you are always in control of what snapshots are saved and can pause saving snapshots at any time. So Windows Recall looks like it could be rolling out to Copilot Plus PCs shortly. And then the next Copilot Plus PC feature, new feature, is Click To Do. And by the way, I've posted on most of these new features we're talking about today. So if you want more in-depth information, just do a search on the channel. I'm just going through this quickly as to not be here all day. Now, Click To Do, they say, makes it easier than ever to take immediate action on whatever catches your eye on screen on your Copilot Plus PC once again, saving you time by helping complete tasks in line and quickly getting you to the app that can best complete the job for you. So as an example, you can select an image using Click To Do to take actions like erasing objects using the Photos app or remove the background using Paint. Now, the next new feature is also for Click To Do. And I'm just going to mention this. And they say Click To Do now includes intelligent text actions. So you'll see options to summarize or to help you rewrite your text so it sounds more casual or more formal, according to Microsoft. And there's another new feature for Click To Do where they say you can easily open Click To Do when you swipe from the rightmost edge of your display. And then another new feature for Click To Do, Microsoft says it is providing policies for managing Click To Do in a commercial environment, because obviously in a commercial environment that changes the ball game completely. So there will be policies to obviously disable and enable that possibly. And then there is improvements for Windows Search on Copilot Plus PCs, which is listed as a new feature. And I have covered these previously where Microsoft says that now finding your documents, photos, and settings across um, the OS is now easier. So whether it's searching in File Explorer, in the Windows Search, or on the taskbar, or in Settings, you just type what's on your mind to find it on your Copilot Plus PC. And then the next uh, new feature is locating your photos stored and saved in the cloud is getting simpler on Copilot Plus PCs once again, with Microsoft saying you can use your own words in the search box at the upper right corner of File Explorer. In addition to photos stored locally on your Copilot Plus PC, photos from the cloud will now show up in the search results together. And then there's a 
new improvement for Narrator. With Microsoft saying you can keep track of what Narrator has spoken and access it for quick reference, which is with a new feature called Speech Recap, with which you can quickly access spoken content, follow along with live transcription and copy what Narrator last said. So Narrator is an accessibility feature. And then if you are using Phone Link, there's a new feature where Microsoft says you can now get direct access to cross-device features from the start menu. So as an example, you can make phone calls, send SMS messages, access your photos or share content between your mobile devices and PCs. And that's that um, new companion we've spoken about on the channel, which will be a kind of like a widget here to the right hand side of the start menu. Just do a search if you want more information on the channel. And then widgets is a new feature where web developers can use their existing content to create interactive widgets that can be added to multiple widget surfaces. And then there is a new feature for File Explorer with Microsoft saying there are now pivot-based curated views on File Explorer Home that support ease of access of Microsoft 365 content on Windows. And then there is a fix where if we head into our settings, accessibility, text size. Uh, Microsoft says that this release includes increased support for the text scaling on this page across File Explorer, File Open, Save, Dialogues, and the Copy Dialogues. And Microsoft says they've improved the performance of, the, of extracting zipped, particularly in the case where you're unzipping a large number of small files. And there's a fix once again for File Explorer. All of these are for File Explorer where the address bar in File Explorer might unexpectedly not show a path after opening. And then we've got a new feature for Windows Share, which I have covered previously on the channel, where you can make last minute edits such as cropping, rotating and adding filters to images shared through the Windows Share window. So that's when you right click on, on a file and that window pops up. There will be editing options available in that window to make last minute tweaks and adjustments. Um, to your different images and then there's a new feature for Windows Studio effects where the studio effects automatic framing filter will be enabled when the camera is used for the first time if your PC supports studio effects so once again a copilot plus PC and then there are two fixes for taskbar where the first fix is Microsoft says the underlines under app icons in the taskbar might remain and stay visible even if the app has been closed. So that's a small little UR fix. And then they say that if you use the arrow keys after pressing the Windows key plus T, the arrows move in the wrong direction for Arabic and Hebrew display languages. So that's a fix. Now there is an improvement for the desktop icons which I have touched, touched on previously on the channel. And I'll leave the video for this link down below and in the end screen. But just a quick recap. As an example, if I just link and pin my snipping tool to the desktop, you can see we've got that background that is a square around the actual icon, which doesn't look too great when it comes to customizing your desktop. So Microsoft says the logic for apps pinned to the desktop has been updated so that packaged apps no longer show an accent colored backplate which means the icon should be bigger and easier to see now. And I'll leave the video for that um, down below and in the end screen because that's quite an important UR change that's taking place. And then for display, there's a fix where you may need to press the Win and P keyboard shortcut twice to switch, to switch topologies. And then for graphics, there's a fix where external graphics cards connected over Thunderbolt might unexpectedly not be discoverable in some cases, so that's quite important. And there's a fix for Hyper-V Manager unexpectedly showing 0% CPU usage for VMs. So guys, those are all the new features and fixes rolling out gradually. Most of those new features are for Copilot Plus PCs. And then just quickly, just to end this video, a normal rollout, and I think this is a nice one, where if we head to Windows Update, Microsoft says, 
It now provides an estimated time for how long your PC will be offline to install updates from Windows Update. This estimate will be shown on the Windows Update settings page and also via the Start Menu Restart button. And I actually think that's a small little significant change, which is quite a nice move. And there's a fix for the Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, DHCP Client, where this update addresses an issue affecting internet connectivity on devices after resuming from sleep mode. Users might experience inter intermittent internet connections, and there has been quite a lot of problems with internet connectivity on 24H2. And here's an important fix. This update addresses an issue when the operating system stops unexpectedly and an error message appears on a blue screen during normal usage with a user profile redirected to a network VHD or VHDX. And then the last one just to mention for this video, um, this update addresses an issue where some content pages with JPEG images were not displaying. So guys, quite a lot going on in this next optional update. I think though when it comes to your average day normal home user who's not running a Copilot Plus PC, not much to really write home about with this update. So nonetheless, just giving you the information like I like to do on the channel and that's what we can more or less expect with KB5055627. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.